Hi, my name is Alan Prost, and this is the fifth part in our series about how to perform pulmonary function testing. And in this case, we're going to be doing a functional residual capacity measurement, so a volume measurement, using nitrogen washout. So, how do we coach a patient to do this? Okay, well, like always, we're going to have a good background history on the patient. We're going to use our filter. They've got to put their teeth on the outside, get a good seal. And with this particular test, having a good seal is really important because they're going to be breathing through this for probably anywhere from six to seven or eight minutes. All right, so that's important. And sometimes you can use other types of mouthpieces, like little scuba type mouthpieces, to make sure you get a good seal. Like always, we're going to have our patient wear the the, na the nose clips to make sure all the gas goes in, in and out through the machine and we're going to be making sure that there's no leaks in our system. So it's a very easy test for the patient. They're going to basically put the mouthpiece in, no obstruction, and just nice easy breathing. We just let them relax on the machine. Then when they're ready, when they've kind of blown out, we can tell on the machine that they've blown out to FRC, we just have them keep breathing in and out, in and out. But a key thing to tell the patient is that at a certain point, they're going to hear a sound, a little clicking sound inside the device, and they're going to be breathing through the regulator. So they're going to be breathing kind of a dry gas, and it's 100% oxygen is actually what they're going to be breathing. So nice, even breathing. And then when we click them over so that they're breathing this unusual gas, we want them to keep breathing at the same rate and tidal volume. So just nice, easy breaths. They don't have to change anything throughout the whole test. Just nice, easy, even breathing, keeping a good seal with their lips tight around the mouthpiece so that there's no leaks for about seven to eight minutes. And we'll watch them on the screen, and then when the test is done, we can tell them to relax. All right, so start off with nice, easy breathing, no changes, and but they will notice, and you must tell them, that they're going to be breathing this unusual gas. It's just oxygen, but it's going to be dry and make them feel a little bit uncomfortable and they're going to notice that they're breathing through this regulator. So it's going to feel and sound a little bit odd, all right? But no change in breathing patterns. So that's for our FRC measurement, or functional residual capacity measurement. And from that, we're also going to be able to determine other lung volumes, okay? So that's a really important measurement we're going to do with nitrogen washout. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's see how this works. Now, coach our patient to get on the device, make sure there's no uh, obstructions to gas flow, get a good tight seal with their lips around the filter, make sure their nose clips are in place, and just nice, even, regular breathing to establish functional residual capacity. No change in their breathing patterns. Once we catch her, capture about four or five breaths, now we're gonna click in, and you're gonna hear they're gonna be breathing that 100% oxygen with each breath. There it is. So now they're breathing through the regulator and the gas analyzer is measuring the amount of oxygen and nitrogen being exhaled and showing us the nitrogen concentrations which should be going down with each breath. Keep a nice good seal with your lips there around the filter. Make sure there's no leaks. Nice easy breathing. Just relax. It's going to feel a little unusual because they're going to be breathing in dry oxygen and it might have a, a little bit of a, a kind of a taste just because it's been in a cylinder. What this test is allowing us to do is measure lung volume. So we're going to measure the lung volumes to functional residual capacity and then extrapolate that data with our other pulmonary function tests. So what we're looking for is a nice gradual decrease in the concentration of nitrogen with each breath. You can see that on our screen here. Up in the corner here, we can also be reading the concentration of nitrogen. Once that gets down below 1.5% for three consecutive breaths, we can end the test. Some devices like this one will have the patient take a sigh breath at the end of the test. So once the concentration's down below uh, about 1%, You'll be coached to sigh the patient and then the machine will click off. 
If you did see a sudden rise in the concentration of nitrogen, that's probably due to a leak. That's why we're watching this carefully, make sure there's no leaks. Keep a good tight seal. So just nice, easy breathing. Because of the length of this test, some patients will get a little tired and they'll start to relax their lips and cause a little bit of a leak. There's other mouthpieces you can use if that becomes a problem. So concentration is getting down now. We're about uh, two and a half percent. Nice, easy, regular breathing now. So concentration is getting right down here. Okay. Just a couple more breaths, and this machine is actually going to coach us to do a sigh, so get the patient to do a little sigh breath there, and that's the end of the test. Okay, that's a nitrogen washout test. So once the test is complete, we want to make sure that we've got a nice, smooth uh, FRC uh, measurement, uh, that all the breaths and the nitrogen washout was a nice, slow decline. Uh, throughout the tests. If there's any little spikes or anything like that, uh, that might indicate a bit of a leak. The other thing we want to do is to make sure that uh, if we did more than one test that the FRC measurement is within 10% of each other. So that's how we do the nitrogen washout test. Thank you very much.